With all the closures taking place, British Railways had a surplus of Great Western Pannier tanks, so they sold a number of them to London Transport, who renumbered them and painted them in their house colours, maroon. Despite its electric image, London Transport still required a small number of steam locomotives for engineers' duties and to run spoiled trains to a rubbish tip at Croxley. In total, it acquired 13 panniers, the last surviving until 1971. LT also had a number of locomotives inherited from its constituent companies. On this visit to Neasden Shed in May 1961, the railway roundabout crew filmed the former Metropolitan Railways numbered 93 in its London transport guise as L52. was a Class F 062 tank and was fitted with dual braking, having a Westinghouse air pump in front of the side tank and an air reservoir on the top of it. She was built in 1901 by the Yorkshire Engine Company and withdrawn in July 1964. Metropolitan Railways No. 1 was an 044 tank numbered L44 by London Transport. This Class E locomotive still works on London Transport on occasions. After withdrawal in 1964, it was preserved and has been used in the 1980s and 1990s in special steam workings on London transport metals. LT colours were reds, but in 1961, unpainted aluminium electric stock was just being introduced on the Circle and Metropolitan lines. This was the first unit, which had arrived at Neasden for trials. This was to be the face of London transport for the next 30 years. Colour would be reintroduced in the 1990s. This new stock was being introduced as part of the extension of electrification on the Metropolitan main line out of Baker Street. The destination box says it all. Electrification to Amersham would eliminate the long-standing changeover from steam to electric at Rickmansworth. The LNER and later British Railways had had the responsibility for providing motive power north of Rickmansworth since 1937. In 1961, LMS Furburn tanks were in use. The locomotive seen here had arrived from the North and Amersham and would give way to LT electric locomotives here. The electric engine is one of a class of 20, which would just see the year out, all being withdrawn when the Amersham line went live.
All these electrics bore names. They'd been effectively supplied in 1921-22 by Metropolitan Vickers as rebuilds of earlier locomotives. Four were to be retained as service engines after withdrawal, one of which later went to LT's own Covent Garden Museum, and one which still remains in service stock to this day, number 12, Sarah Siddons. Wearing an appropriate destination board, Sherlock Holmes moves off. The carriages of the well-known dreadnought stock that bore commuters from the city to the Buckinghamshire countryside for over half a century. We'll see them again soon.